Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. We continue with football. The Trinidad and Tobago Secondary School Football League, SSFL, is in full swing. Results from the ninth round on Wednesday saw St. Benedict's College beating Presentation College San Fernando 3-0. A 2-0 win for Pleasantville Secondary against Chagornas North. Fatima College, they thumped QRC 7-1. A 4-0 win for San Juan North against Speyside. Uh, no goals in the match between Arima North and East Mucarapo. Naparima College, a 3-0 win against Bishops High. Two all between St. Anthony's College and Malik Secondary. And Trinity East walking away with that 3-0 win against St. Mary's College. This is how the table looks. San Juan at the top of the table, having played nine matches, a total of 24 points. Two points separate Fatima College from the table leaders, San Juan North. Naparima College in third position on 21 points. And in fourth and fifth position on the same number of points, St. Benedict's College and Presentation College. Uh, notice that St. Anthony's and Arima North, they also have the same number of points, 16 and 16. So as we get down to the business end of the SSFL season, let's hear from two members from Presentation College San Fernando as they bid for the title. I began looking at football at the age of seven and I immediately fell in love with the game. Um, I started training as well at the age of seven and everything just took off from there. And football is really, really important to me because it just makes me happy being out here on the field. My favorite moment on the field is making a big save against Naparima College in the Intercal semi-final 2022. It's full of emotions because it was actually a really, really crucial save for us to, to get the victory. We would have won 1-0. And if that goal would have scored, it would have been one all and it would have, it would have went on. It was full of emotions, the crowd was going wild. I mean, it's just amazing. Well, of course, it's a very, very long season, so the preparation has to be long as well. I mean, it's very, very challenging as we have to do a lot of gym exercises, then come onto the field and put in a lot of hard work. And you also have to do your work at home as well, because the work here isn't enough. So it's a very, very challenging pre-season to get ready for the season. Honestly, football was something that was popular growing up, so it was me trying to be in the end and with the experience, I fell in love with the sport. I feel as though it gives me a safe space, an opportunity to express myself and it gives me something to put my time and energy into. My parents, they always push me to be, to be balanced and they will encourage me. So I have my mom who pushes on my academics and my dad who pushes on my football. So I have a good balance between the both. Um, my teachers, they put a lot of effort, I have great teachers, so I just want to show them that their effort is worthwhile. It's very important for me to set goals, so before the season I have an idea of what I want to achieve, whether it be goals, assists, clean sheet, a certain amount of passes, and I just want to be the best I could be. Well, the SSFL continues on Saturday with the following fixtures. So Fatima College will be up against Arima North, San Juan North. They play Naparima College. QRC will be seeing East Mokarambo. Bishops High up against St. Anthony's College. Chagornas North play St. Benedict's College. Pleasantville Secondary up against Malik Secondary. And Presentation San Fernando will be seeing Trinity East. All right, so we're going to take a quick break and come back. Remember, we also have the SSFL on the Home of Champions. <laughs> 